Morning everybody. We are going to make an address marker for the property today. So we're taking a couple of four by fours and we are going to turn them into an address marker so we can hang the new address sign. So um, first thing we're gonna do is, I'm actually started already. I remember I should be videoing this. So we're going to notch the boards so that our cross braces fit in nice and neat. And we left about five inches on the top here so we can either put a cap on it or cut it at an angle or make it look nice or something. But we're going to get started with our cross braces. So in order to make our notch, which looks like what we kind of got here, we essentially make a bunch of little cuts where we want it to go. And then I'm going to whack it with a hammer and then chisel it out. Mabel girl. All right. Dad, what you doing? <laughs> what I'm doing is making a notch for our post. So then we're just going to take our chisel and clean that up a little bit. Now we've got both of our notches made in our tops. We need to make a corresponding one in the bottom and then we're going to cut a couple of the other pieces here, notch the very ends uh, so that we can overlap them there. So we're going to get started on probably the cross pieces because we still have to figure out on the signs over there. Um, once we hang them all together, we need to figure out where that bottom cross piece is going to go. So that's probably going to be our last, um, our last cut. So. We're gonna get started on the cross pieces. Fit here, you can see we got a little more work to do. We are about, I don't know, quarter inch, five sixteenths high on both sides. This one fits in pretty nice and flush. This one we gotta trim a little bit more. You can see we got a little bit of a gap there. So we are gonna trim them up. So we've got the top pretty well notched in there. It's not totally perfect, but it's Close enough for government work. Um, so we are going to now, I've already started drilling the signs. They come pre-drilled, but the hole's a little too far away and there's none on the bottom and we're gonna hang these kind of in a series. So you can see I'm drilling a new hole in the top, just a little bit higher and one on the bottom in a matching location so that we can hang these one from each other. So I'm gonna get to drilling. Okay, so we got all our address markers drilled. Now we are going to drill and then insert these eye bolts which is what the signs will hang from so I already marked the center line eight and a quarter there's a mark there two eight and a quarter so we're going to get these pre-drilled and put in there so we're just going to make a little pilot hole and then screw them in so this gives you an idea of what it looks like it's not installed just yet but it will be shortly and I'm just going to take a quick measurement so that we can figure out how far down we need to place that bottom rail. Um, but ultimately, that's kind of what it's gonna look like. Uh, and so we are test fitting right now. There's our bottom rung, top rung. We just kind of got it test fit in there, but at least right now, it looks like it is going to fit nicely. So all the last thing we gotta do is finish crimping these last couple S hooks, drive our screws in, and we are set. So, finished product turned out pretty much exactly like I was expecting. So, um, turned out pretty good. Now we just gotta maybe dress up the top there with some, some post caps. I left the legs extra long, so I guess we can just take a chainsaw even and cut them on site so we can get it exactly how I want, but better to have extra than not enough. So, I think it turned out pretty good.